Guys, I don't know if we fully realized what just happened last night, but I think it's going to go down as a much more important day than we may realize. And this is a day I've been waiting on for years and years and years. But I think the Celtics finishing the sweep and sweeping the Nets just put an end to the super team era. All these years of LeBron's big three in Miami to Kevin Durant's and Steph Curry's Golden State Warriors to now with the Nets who had a big three and then went down to two with the old James Harden thing. And we saw what the Lakers tried to do this year and failed. I think we're, I think the super team era is finally coming to an end. Now things are starting to reset to the way it should be. Look at the Suns, look at the Celtics, look at the Bucks, look at the Heat. Depth is finally starting to matter just like basketball should be. Yes, these teams still have their stars, but it's about the collective unit as a whole. It's not just whoever gets the most superstar on the team wins the championship. So I think that's the way the NBA actually should be. And I and it's actually getting me excited to watch the NBA again. But yeah, as far as the actual series goes, well, we know what happened. KD and Kyrie did not play well. Me personally, I kind of think that's on the coaching staff. They just had KD and Kyrie ISO the whole time. But then again, that's what they asked for with Kyrie saying they didn't really need a head coach. And KD getting tired of Steve Kerr offense apparently in Golden State. So they kind of asked for this. And they kind of got what they were asking for. At the same time, I do want to be fair. The Nets had the most drama, well, besides the Lakers, had the most drama of any NBA team with Kyrie playing part-time. Maybe they even had more drama. With Kyrie playing part-time and that forcing Harden now, then trade for Ben Simmons, and then Ben Simmons doesn't want to play. They did go through a lot. But I think this coaching staff could have put them in a lot better position to win. Maybe a little more of a motion offense, things like that. But... Yeah, there's no other way to put it. Ime Udoka put together a perfect game plan. He was on the Brooklyn bench. It was assistant coach of the Nets last year. And he must have been taking notes because they was ready. And I've never seen KD play this bad. I've never seen a team get in his head this much. So KD shot a little less than 40% from the field, was 33% from three, and averaged five, almost five and a half turnovers in four games. And for a player who's been so efficient over his whole career... This is this is kind of a shock and definitely something I didn't expect. And yeah, you just got to give it to the Celtics and Ime Udoka and Jason Tatum, who just flat out outplayed Kevin Durant. There's no way around that. But yeah, the Nets have a lot to figure out after this with Ben Simmons and what they're going to do with that, how they're going to get the depth that they need because they're not, this team is not shaped to win a championship at all because a lot of the veterans they brought in to depend on, like LaMarcus Aldridge, Blake Griffin, those guys weren't. Barely played or really just weren't even available to play. So the Nets going to have a lot to figure out. But I'm going to celebrate. I've been waiting on this day since LeBron. I don't even know when. I don't even know how long I've been waiting for this super team era to end. But I think it's finally over. So I'm going to celebrate that. What are you guys' What are you guys thoughts on this whole series? And yeah, I'm just excited for some good NBA basketball now.